Good morning. I'm uh, just working on a little project here. I'm trying to start this uh, website. You know, I, I'm building my website and I'm making videos for my website. And I decided I was going to try to do a uh, subscribe star channel. So that's what I'm doing today. And uh, I figured I would record, make a recording, you know, kind of an introduction to AOTA. Aota is an ancient name from the Isle of Man, my family name, Aota. And, you know, and it was, you know, just my family name, you know, from the Isle of Man in the Irish Sea. And um, I looked that up and found out about who my ancestors. So I figured I'd do a video. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I tend to just start videos and just kind of talk about whatever I'm interested in and uh, right now I'm doing I figure I'll do one uh, I'm doing a screen recording on my laptop while I'm do, I'm making this video on my phone my my system is not very advanced I'm I'm just uh, I don't have a lot of resources to you know buy equi expensive equipment so I'm using my uh, Samsung smartphone to take the make the video and then a lot of times I'll put a, a video different kind of videos in them and different pictures in the background and stuff like that you know and I'm learning one of the subjects of the the web is going to be making videos for your website and teaching people how to do that and teaching people how to make websites and teaching people how to use Linux in their home office that's part of one of the subjects I'm interested in. Uh, another thing is uh, I like, uh, you know, one world news, you know, one world unity and the whole human race and, you know, getting civilization to evolve into one big, peaceful and prosperous, you know, I like to say global space faring civilization, you know. And that's what, uh, you know, kind of a big part of the theme it's going to be, you know, how to make cities sustainable, how to make civilization sustainable and things like that. And, you know, and how to improve yourself is going to be a huge major part of the thing is self-improvement and business and economics. You know, I kind of avoid politics. I don't really want to get involved in politics. I want to stay on the economics. I like culture. I like to talk about culture and history and culture and science and religion and, you know, peace and prosperity. You know, the whole, you know, I like to say science, history, philosophy, and religion are all one subject to me. And uh, that's my worldview, you know, and I view the world as one, you know, human race. There's only one human race. And, I'm pretty, I, I like the Baha'i faith. I'm a Baha'i, I believe in Baha'u'llah. I hope Baha'u'llah is who he says he is. I try not to talk about that too much because I don't want to get preachy and I, you know, and I don't want to cause any trouble for the Baha'i faith. And so I probably won't, won't try to not talk to too much about that. But I do, you know, spirituality is like the most important feature of human nature and civilization so I, I will mention it from time to time um, you know I just you know there's a lot of, it's a very fascinating time to be alive on earth right now man it's, it's just uh, you know really crazy things are happening and it's and one of the things I want to do is I want this to be a good news website. You know, I want to talk about the good things that are going on because there's a lot of good things happening, you know, and there's a lot of bad things happening. But, you know, in the news media, it seems, tries to concentrate on that. And I want to try to, I'm not going to ignore that, but I'm going to try to focus on the good news that's happening. And... Uh, so anyway, let's, you know, I, I want to, one of the things I, I like doing is these little screen casts, you know, where I take a copy of my screen on the internet here. And so here's my website. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to build this, make this website into a profitable system. I've been doing this for 
quite a while now building this website and I've got a bunch of you know I got this website and I've trying to make it attractive and interesting and entertaining uh, an entertaining channel of uh, you know just uh, my what I like you know and I don't know what you know I don't really have much of you know a, a, a plan for my for this video uh, but I just want to keep going and make a good video for, for to introduce my subscribe star channel. I want to get going on this. I'm kind of a little bit desperate. My money situation is, you know, I've already, you know, it's after the first of the month, so I'm, I'm miss my payment. You know, I'm behind on my rent and everything is, you know. All my bills, I don't have any income coming in at all right now. And so I'm trying to start this channel and I'm going to try to make it as interesting as I can and entertaining and educational. That's my goal. I wonder what that line is. I wonder, you know, it's like every picture has that line right through about two thirds of the way across there. There's a line for some. That's kind of aggravating, but. I like the the website. It looks okay. I mean, it's I'm not very great at website design. I'm not a computer, you know, professional computer scientist or anything like that. I, I'm kind of a armchair computer scientist, you could say. And I'm having fun doing it. It's all fun. It's it's like a puzzle. These are web building websites is like putting together puzzles. It's like a very complex puzzle, and there's a whole bunch of different complex puzzles, you know, like, you know, you got your your website, you've got Krita, you've got KDN Live, which is what you, you record, you know, make videos with. And, and it's a very fascinating enterprise that I'm doing right now. And I'm getting into this, uh, building the website. This is the blog. And I write stories every day. I write another story. Well, it's like I'm trying to get a new schedule now that I uh, got, uh, you know, everything's changed. I lost my job, and so I'm work, and I've got to figure out a way to make money. And so, right now, this is it. This website. I go out every once or twice a week and look for a job. But I, w I really want this website to be my job. I want to make it. I want to teach people how to be prosperous. You know, my prime, I've always been interested in helping poor and homeless drug addicts like me prosper, you know, recover from whatever trauma you've experienced in your life, you know, domestic abuse, poverty, homelessness, drug abuse, you know, anything, you know, and try and t teach people how to be successful professional, high performance, you know, professional people that are good at earning a living, making money. You got to, you know, you have to earn a living. It's part of human nature is learning. And so you keep working on that. And uh, that's what I'm going to teach you. And right now, my strat, my little strategic plan is to start this subscribe star channel. And I'm gonna, well, I hope I can do this because I, I, I really, I've been working on this for years I, and nobody supported me. I've been doing this all by myself. I, I haven't had anybody helping me. And I've asked, I've tried to get people, my family, I, I've wanted people to help me. And for I, for some reason, I don't know why, what, I just can't get anybody to help me, man. So I'm putting it all out, you know, here and it's online and, Hopefully I'll attract some attention and somebody will say, you know, hey, that guy is, you know, he's got a good thing going on. You know, he's working. And uh, I, I like it. I think my website actually looks pretty cool. I'm kind of a, you know, it's nothing super fancy, I can tell you that. I found that when I made a video, an hour-long video the other day, and I found it. And I was watching it, and there's a typo in there, and I'm going, oh man, you know, because I, you know, I put these little, you know, 
write, writing sayings on there, you know, and I and, and there was a typo, you know, oh my God, I can't believe that, an hour-long video. So, you know, things, you know, that's what you learn. You learn, you learn how to hold the camera. I'm walking around downtown Seattle taking videos of, making a video of, of Seattle. And, you know, first the camera is pointing up in the sky. And then I noticed that, so I started pointing it a little bit too, too low. And hopefully I'll get to where I can hold the camera at the right angle as I'm walking around telling stories, you know, because I kind of wanted to, start telling stories, you know, get out of the house and, and have a, you know, it's, it's, it's the ideas and stuff that I'm teaching. I believe, you know, I'm a holistic healer and teacher. I'm a very high performance holistic healer and teacher. And what I'm producing in this website is a very advanced education, very advanced entertaining education you know it's it's advanced because of my education see I didn't get my education from school the, you know I didn't go to college I, I went to college a few times but I never really fit in there and I I got my education by reading and I've read hundreds I read thousands of books about a very wide variety of subjects, you know, physics, astronomy, cosmology, chemistry, biology, psychology, religion. I read the Bible and the Quran and over and over again and many other books, you know. And so I have a vast education, you know, a world-class education. And I want to try to help myself and other people with, you know, that education and teach people how to be successful, how to be peaceful and prosperous, you know. And it's it's interesting, it's fun. Um, you know, uh, it's like, uh, this website is a, a good teaching tool. Uh, I'll make that the website will be one teaching tool. And I, I got all these stories. These are the stories right here. These are basic, basically just navigation, mostly navigation. There's a story there and there's a few stories in here, but mostly this is navigation. You know, you're navigating to these stories over here. And, uh, you know, each these are the stories and these are just kind of navigation. There's usually, a lot of times I'll put a video in these you know, there's videos in all these, and then all these are the stories. This is a book I wrote. Read this book right here from start to finish. This is a, you know, this is the only place it's published is on the website, you know, because there's a good reason for doing it this way, and that's the way I'm doing it. It's just published right here. I also wrote a book about the whole, you know, it's very similar to the website. It's kind of the same subject. And this is it right here. And you can buy the book, this book. You can buy this book right here. Click on that. And it goes to lulu.com. You can also buy it on Amazon or uh, Barnes and & Nobles and a few other places. You know, I accept donations. I need, I need about $2,000 a month to live. And so I'm, I'm well, you know, I'll accept donations. And hopefully this subscribe star channel will take off that would be the best thing because i i really i don't want welfare i don't want anything like that what i want is to create i want to be a storyteller uh, you know my circumstances are pretty unusual. you you know i don't know i guess they're not all that unusual i mean i just it's just I got a story, and the story's in here. I introduced myself. This is some, here, here, right here is where I introduced myself, and uh, right here I introduced the website, kind of describe what's going on with the website, and right here I'm asking for help. I need help. I want help. You know, so anybody that's interested in this project, I'd like to find somebody to to host the the stories with me and have two people here talking about you know have a conversation with two people I think would be a good idea um, there's uh, and we could do interviews and stuff like that I would like to be able to travel around I'm thinking about moving to New York City and making this a, 
another website that would be more focused on the One World News channel. That's kind of my plan. And, you know, and go and interview people at the United Nations and talk about what's going on around the world and what the United Nations is doing. Because I like the United, I like the United States and I like the United Nations. I think they're both imperfect you know, and they need to be improved. And we, but it's better to improve what we have than it is to throw everything away and start over from scratch. That is not going to be a pleasant experience. It may happen, but I hope not. I hope we just keep working on improving. You know, each nation improving itself, and and the United Nations improving itself. And um, I think that's a good idea. And that's I I so. Most of the time, whenever you hear about the United States, is about some, the United Nations, about some terrible thing that happened, and I want to change that. I want to write about what's going on with the United Nations, the good news, and there's a lot of good news going on. The United Nations is doing a lot of good work, and I want to try to get that to a, a big audience, you know, a worldwide audience, and share that and uh, report that and. You know, just explore and see what's going on and seek the truth and, you know, tell the truth. You know, I'm a, that's what I am, a true storyteller, you know, that's what I like doing. And uh, so that's kind of uh, the plan going forward. For right now, I, I'm trying to get this holistic home office website, which I've always wanted to be the big money making project. You know, and then I, that way I wouldn't have to worry about money on the other ones. And so, and I want to teach, you know, I always figure if you want to solve the income inequality problem, the best way to do that is to teach poor people how to make money. And so that's what I'm trying to do with this website, you know, is to, I want to help poor people, you know, teach a good work ethic, to, you know, teach business you know, and intelligence, you know, financial intelligence and things like that. And I'm not really, I'm not very intelligent about finance because if I was, I wouldn't be struggling like I am. But what I, I'm trying to, I'm building this website to teach people. You know, part of it is, is when I kicked the drugs, man, I had to go walk for miles across town to go to all these different organizations to get the help I needed to get on my feet to get clean I got clean you know 30 years ago I stopped using drugs and I've always wanted to build a, a holistic program where everything was in one place and I didn't have to walk miles to get there and um, that's what this website is about it's about that's why it's called holistic home office it's about teaching people how to be prosperous you know how to find the help they need and get cleaned up and and go to work and be productive and uh, that's what I'm trying to do is teach people how to be productive and peaceful and prosperous and happy and healthy and wealthy you know that's what that's what I'm trying to do man and it's fun I'm having fun doing it I like doing it I haven't made any money doing it yet, but I, I'm home. I sold a couple of books. I've sold like five books, I think, or four books, you know, to some of my friends when I first published it. I'd like to get, I wish that would sell more books. I, it's, it's my first book, you know, it's not, my, my writing style seems a little kind of not, very good you know I mean I like my writing style don't get me wrong it's just that there's lots of rough edges to it and uh, there, you know some of the chat boy I wish I would have put that chapter before that one and things like that you know and but it's a great story and it will if you read that story you know if you read those two books read the one on the website because this one here is about this is about my story about everything about how the universe, you know, the universe and everything like that, and cosmology and you know everything, God, 
you know, in spirituality and culture and history. This is all about history of Earth. You know, it's my perspective. I've, I've studied it. It, used to, it was always my favorite subject was history. And so I read lots of books about that. And so, and I'm telling you my story and kind of mixing all the different stories I read into one in different perspective. And, you know, I don't know how, because there's some pretty unusual ideas in there. Believe me. This is very, there are definitely some unusual ideas in there, and um, take, it, it's a good read. Read the whole story. It's kind of I'm sorry that the only way I could publish it is on the website, but that's you know that's the way it is. So, um, well, uh, but I say it's a it's a great story to read, and. Uh, you know, and it's just my opinion. You know, I'm nobody important. I have a, no authority over anything. I don't even really have authority over myself. You know, God is in. God makes the rules, and I try to follow them to the best of my ability. I I don't think I'm really very good at that, but I love God and I want to serve God and help God do whatever He wants to do. You know, He's my God, and I love God, and I totally recommend that you do that to you know find God in your life and and follow that and uh, so anyway you know the, yeah the website is uh, it's going on you know teach people about business and work ethic and finance and you know and Linux I, I like free and open you know I think that free and open source software is going to be a big part of the solution to this you know, uh, you know, obviously corrupt economics, social and economic system. You know, where certain people, are, we, where you, when you have people that have billions and hundreds of billions of dollars, and the neighborhood that their business is in is just got hundreds of pe homeless people wandering around trying to survive. There's something seriously wrong with that, you know, and so we got to fix that. And I think, and I don't know this because I'm not against private property. I like private property, but there, I'm thinking that free and open source software is going to be a small part of this solution where it opens it up and, you know, have just a few people getting the benefits of all the, the technology that we the whole human race you know many people worked on this you know most of the people that work you know the ceos of them company they did their work but it was pro the, the employees of those companies that did the work and mostly and not necessarily the the ceo and so you know it's like and we gotta you know I just think that whole free and open source, I think the blockchain, you know, Bitcoin may be a good solution to the problem of the finance, you know, concentrating the wealth into just, you know, and having this small elite, you know, they, it's kind of a self-appointed elite. There's no real, you know, because there's no difference between human beings. There's no ruling class. There's no... You know, all men are created equal. You know, I think that 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 is a natural law, just as real and constant as the law of gravity or the speed of light. You know, that all men are created equal, and that includes women, because woman is a man with the womb. So, in this these people that want to keep take control, and use these computers to control everything, are just as bad as the people that are trying to tear everything down. You know, it's evil versus evil, and I don't agree with either one of them. I want this civilization to work for everyone, every nation, every race, every religion. I want peace and prosperity for all mankind, and that's what this website's all about. And it's kind of concentrating on teaching poor homeless people how to be productive, how to recover, you know, don't use drugs. Drugs are poison. They destroy your mind and your body. And that's about 80% of that homelessness is caused by drug abuse. And we got to stop that. That's kind of like the most, you know, you think coronavirus is a plague. Drugs 
are the plague of this generation and we got to use every available means to stop it as fast as can possible you know you know use education teach kids the truth about this when they're little before they start using it that's the best way to stop it but then you also have to have the mo the state of the art the most advanced healing training you know system you know treatment medical treatment and then you know have a very advanced law enforcement ways of dealing with things and stopping it and interdicting drug trafficking and also use military force you know in wherever necessary you, you know every available means to stop drug abuse as fast as possible it is the worst plague it is the most violent crime of all you know because it doesn't just damage your body it damages your soul and you got to stop it we've got to stop this this is it's destroying our civilization and we got to stop it as fast as we can so you know don't use drugs don't litter pick up the trash pay these poor people that go around and pick up all the trash and uh you know start you know when you're these home you know when you're dealing with these homeless people you got to teach them a work ethic and teach them and, and get them you know cleaned up get them healthy so they can go to work and then help them find a good job or a good uh, business you know to get get into and start earning a living that's all recovery programs should be oriented towards that i can't imagine why anybody would think otherwise that's one of the most important things you have to be productive in order to be healthy not being not productive is not healthy you know no matter what your circumstances if you got injured and you lost your legs and everything like that you can figure out a way to be productive it's up to you i mean you're the because you want to find something that you like doing but you have to be productive in order because otherwise you're just going to get sick and die you know mentally and everything else so figure out a way to be productive and help other people and add value to society and things like that build sidewalks clean this neighborhood you know pick up the trash build sidewalks you know make your cities pedestrian friendly so people could walk around and, and enjoy this you know have a nice pleasant place to live the other thing is building websites start out with your website if you're interested in doing your own holistic home office i say start go to bluehost which if you go to my website and click on one of these links you know like this link down here and click on this link or any other links that i have in here on bluehost and go buy purchase a uh, a subscription for a website there I would get a small commission for that. That would be one another little stream of income I'm trying to work on. But go to, go to Bluehost and get your WordPress website. And you're going to be using your cPanel and your WordPress. You know the here's my WordPress. Uh, it's it's called a dashboard. The WordPress dashboard. I can go back. This is where you build your WordPress. And here's all you know. You change. You know, if you want to put a page, you know, add a new page. You go here. Here's all my pages, or not all of them, but here's one. You know, because I've got like eight pages at this point, and I can go down there and edit them and things like that. Uh, you, there's a lot of that you do with the plugins to get everything going. You got your menus and wi wi widgets and your theme you know and you select all that stuff and you you put together a nice looking website and you start telling stories about whatever it is you're interested in and you know and it could amplify whatever you may not be doing websites or computer stuff you may be doing something totally unrelated to computers but you still want to have a website to you know introduce people to your whatever your product is and um so that's you know and get started on that right away you know don't wait for me to add more information about that there's plenty of information 
go to Bluehost, follow the instructions, uh, learn how to use the C panel, and learn how to use WordPress and build the website and just start creating content. And because, you know, we're doing it is what's going to, you know, that's how you're going to learn how to do it. And read books, you know, read the documentation and learn all everything you can about it and get really good at it and just start creating content and building your channel of entertaining education about whatever it is you're interested in. And, uh, you know, so, and it's all fun. And then there's, uh, this here is more about uh, some of the tools you can use to do that, like Scribus is a tool that you can make books with. And you write your story in your, your Kate, you know, your text editor, and you write your stories in there, but then, and then you, you put them into Scribus. And it's kind of a, it takes work to do that. You know, you gotta go through and you do every page to make it so, cause you, that way you know where the position, where the paragraphs are. You don't want it, you know, a heading to be on the bottom of the page, for example, and things like that. And you can, and you set that up and you produce your book and then you can self-publish it at lulu.com or, or was, there's a couple other ones. Book Baby is one. There's another one that might be the best one, but it costs a little bit of money. You know, Ingram Spark, I think is the name of it. And there's probably other ones too. Those are the three I know about. And, um, you know, and then you got Digicam and, and these ones here are, these, these, each one of these is a complex, you know, technology, a piece of technology. And you use this to manage your, your, your photographs. You know, that's what all this is for the photography tools that you use to edit and, you know, your ph photography is what all this is. And then uh, these are drawing tools. Krita is the KDE one. And I, you know, I'm a big fan of KDE because it's really easy to start using for people that are not computer scientists. That's why I like it, you know. And so a lot of the computer scientists don't like it because it's not as easy. I think I'm starting to get the impression that it's not as easy to work on as the other, the GTK and other systems, you know, the GIMP toolkit, you know, the, is easier to work on, but it's not as easy to use for somebody who ha does, has no experience with Linux. Create the, or I mean, KDE is really easy to use for, you know, it's got visual stuff that you can see and click on a button to go places and do things. And so it's easy for somebody that's not a computer programmer to use, but it's not all that easy. You know, the pro, the way it's arranged in the background is a little bit different and I'm not sure if it's the easiest way. But one of the things I do encourage people to do is to get in there and learn it. You know, I, I teach about, you know, you start with KDE and this is gonna show you all about KDE. And then after while, when, while you're using these tools to make things with, you learn how to use these tools and build your local development environment. And then you learn these, these are the languages, the ones I recommend or I'm interested in. And then, you know, and this is how Linux works. And the whole point is, is that you start improving Linux. It's a good way, you know, it's free and open source software. So you volunteer and you, you work on, you, you download and you get KD, you know, like for example, you get uh, Contact or Caligra are the two pieces that really need work on it. And, and you download the source code for that and then you work on improving it and you make, in, make them into very high performance, you know, personal information management software and uh, home office, you know, documentation software and do that. And I, that's, I, that's one of the things I encourage people to do because that's what I want, you know. And then of course, here's your video making, some bunch of stories about making videos. 
lot of it's just like I went on a trip to Seattle and made a bunch of videos and then I came home and put them all together and KDN Live. KDN Live is the tool I use to make videos. There's another one that I want to learn how to use too where it's your broadcasting, live streaming and I don't, I haven't wrote OBS is a, so that's a, another tool I'll, I'll look at later on. There's one, that's like a, the one that I would really like, I wish I knew how to use, but it's like really super complicated is, a, it's called Blender and it's a 3D animation software and it's pretty amazing you know you can make cartoons and stuff like that it's uh, funny so 3d cartoons you can make 2d cartoons too but and you can use but the ones I'm using are Krita and KDN live and uh, GIMP I'm trying to kind of narrow my focus down to just a few tools because there's so many of them you know I, I need to, because I have a tendency to look at, oh, look at that, you know, that shiny new thing over there. This is a, a great idea. And I, I think, you know, especially with the whole coronavirus and everybody who's locked up at home and looking for ways to make money, I'm saying do this. You know, I say, you know, don't be, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a work hard. You've got to work hard to do this. It is not easy. And you got to be smart. You got to work smart, you know, and and invest. Seek the truth, and and understand. Learn how this technology works. You know, we're building a global cloud of artificial intelligence on this planet now, and it's it's here. It's not going away. It's going to be, you know, and the, I think I say that artificial intelligence is exactly like guns. Okay, guns are not good or evil. They're just tools that we made and they're valuable and they're useful. Okay, it's the operators that make it harmful or, you know, helpful. You know, and it's just exactly the same thing with artificial intelligence. It can be used for good or evil. And it's the by far the most powerful weapon ever Invented, and I agree with that. And so we need to we need to get ready and do you know and and uh, make sure that we take use it honorably, you know. And uh, another thing I got to do is get in the habit of looking at the camera instead of looking at the picture of me because I have a tendency, you know, I'm looking at the picture of me, you know. But I need to look at the camera. Look at the camera. It's a habit, you know, you develop habits. I'm learning this video making, you know, a channel of entertaining. I got to get good at talking. I want to try to tell stories that are entertaining. I guess I got to be funny or I suppose or something that makes the stories entertaining and attractive. And I don't know, I'll just keep practicing and keep working on it. Like I said, I think I would definitely like to have another person to talk to and, uh, another you know and do interview interview people and do different things like that i'm probably going to have to get more cameras i don't think i would be able to do that on with the one camera work on your stuff man keep working on it you got to be realistic you know um do something that is is reasonable think about that your audience what does your audience want You've got to be consciously thinking about them and what are they looking for? What do they want? Why, why would they be interested in your website and your stories? And how can you help them? You know, instead of thinking about what you need, which is pretty, you know, because you're like desperate, you know, and you need to make some money. And so, and you're all, that's what you're thinking about. You need to think about your audience and what their wants and needs are. And um, f concentrate on solving those pro their problems and whatever you know, and so you know it's a interesting story. You know, sales and marketing. 
is something I'm probably not very good at. I, I, I want to get a lot better at it. I want to be a really good salesperson. You know, I studied neuro-linguistic programming, you know, because I was interested in drug rehab, you know, and stuff like that. And so I was healing people. I kind of visualized myself as a shaman, you know, uh, kind of a 21st century shaman, you know, and a, a wizard, you know. It's like I can help people. Just by talking to them and telling stories, I tell that's my medicine. It's my stories are my medicine, and they, I know everybody thinks, yeah, you know, but that's I'm just like I say. I, I my circumstances are, you know, pretty, you know, harsh. You know, I've had some harsh uh, stuff go on in my life, and I'm made, making progress. I'm I'm making. Uh, you know, trying to be a healer and teacher, holistic healer and teacher. And um, I think I'm pretty good at it. We'll see. I mean, I, I think uh, my stories are very advanced, you know, very high performance, entertaining education to teach people how to be prosperous, peaceful and prosperous. And that's what I do, and uh, I think I'm good at it, you know. So I recommend that you read all the stories. Read all the stories on this website and watch all the videos. And, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that about the blog. I mean, you can if you want to read all the blog posts, but, you know, I would just, you know, the blog, I'll keep the blog going, you know, write a story every at least once or twice a week about just whatever is going on. And, uh, you know, and I definitely read them. You know, that first one, Holistic Home Office, that, that's kind of a, I got that, that's a sticky story that's on the f top of the list. And, and it just stays there and you can read that. I, I re read that one, you know, and um, this will open your mind in a good way. I'm not trying to hurt anybody, you know, I'm not, I, I'm trying to help as many people as I can prosper on this planet earth and uh live peacefully and prosperous and have a have fun making the world a better place you know that's what i want to do and that's what i am doing it's just me um and i am uh, a human being that i spent years studying recovery when i was kicking the drugs back in the 1990s i was reading psychology textbooks and and i was going to the denver general hospital and reading scientific journals about addiction and recovery and psychology and physiology and i studied it a lot you know uh, so i have something to say about that about healing and recovery and you know and that's what i say you know and so i put all these stories together and make a hopefully I can help you. I can help any human being. I don't care how rich or poor you are or anything. I can, you know, reading these stories will help you. You'll find something that'll help you, you know. So have fun and uh, read the stories, watch the videos and uh, help each other, make the world a better place, you know create peace and prosperity for all mankind. Thank you and thanks for watching the videos and uh, you know, help me get this thing going. I think it's a great idea, man, and I need all the help I can get. So thanks a lot and have a great day and a great life and peace be with you.